Hey YouTube, Peterbilt Knife Guy. Today's gonna be a uh, kind of a, not a review. I don't do reviews. I just kind of ramble on about my opinions and thoughts of things uh, of my uh, multi-tool collection and kind of my opinions on them as I go. First off is uh, one of my more favorite ones is the uh, Leatherman Rebar. It's like a uh, original super tool where you know the none of the tools are accessible from the inside or from the outside but i don't know it's just compact it's comfortable they rounded off the edges so it doesn't like poke you when you grip it not a huge fan of the replaceable cutters um i've snapped two of these jaws because uh i mean if you take them off and you look at the actual meat back there it's it's weaker than the original but still good and you shouldn't cut, you know, hardened screws with them. But if you're just cutting some wire, they work good. So, yeah, uh, Leatherman Rebar, highly recommended. Next is probably my favorite, and I'll probably get catch flack for this, but is the Leatherman Sidekick. I don't know why. When I, when I bought this thing, it was $29 at Home Depot. Now they've gone up in price. Um, I'm a big fan of the saws. I really like the, the models with saws on them. Um, this one has spring-loaded jaws, and I freaking love that feature. These things have gone on me with me uh, many a fishing trips, uh, hunting, camping. It's just a, a good knife. I don't know why people didn't like these as much. Pocket clip on it. Uh, and the way the jaws are set up, it's a pinch design. It pinches instead of slice. So if you look at this, this is set up like scissors. I don't know if you can even see that. This one pinches, kind of like a pair of uh, dikes or snips or something like that. But yeah, I I really like this one. And, you know, I'm gonna close these. Next up is the Wave. Everybody's had a Leatherman Wave. Fantastic knife. Uh, once again, one of my more favorite features is the saw. Um, outside accessible blades on this one. It, it's good. Um, I have upgraded this one, and I'll show you that. I traded out and put a, uh, a 154 CM blade from a le another Leatherman in here that I don't like as much. Uh, older design. I had the newer ones, but I sold them because I didn't like them. See the, this is what I was talking about, the replaceable cutters. I, I find the original head just to be more stronger, more refined. I, I don't, I guess less refined, but I just like it better. And I never had a problem with one breaking, but Leatherman with. Next one is a Leatherman Charge. I've never had the TTI one. This is the uh, aluminum scale one. This is the one that the uh, 154CM blade came out of. This is the, the 420 blade. I swapped them out. It was a good knife. It's just, you know, for the for the weight. I don't like the thickness. It's too fat for me. Um, that, that, that's why I prefer the Wave more. I mean, it's basically just a fancy Wave, but uh, it's thicker. Not a fan of that. That's why I tra changed out the blade. This is the older one. You know, it's got the, the different head. It's got whatever this is. I think it's a crimper, but good blade used it a bunch but when I swapped it out I just stopped using it next up is one that I thought I would truly enjoy and I ended up not Leatherman Surge everything's good about it I have it's just it is just heavy fat chunky uh, whatever you multi-tool it things just it's just a brick carry this thing around these are actually the heads 
that I snapped. I mean, they're they're way bulkier. Look at look at this versus that. There's a huge size size difference, and these are the ones I ended up breaking while camping too. So that kind of screwed me. So once I uh, once I swapped it out for a good one, or uh, you know, I didn't go through warranty. I had multiple of them, so I just kind of fixed the one I liked, but. Uh, another good feature on this one is the scissors. Not a big scissor, big scissor user. Honestly, if you honestly if you can cut it with the scissors, you can cut it with a knife. But these are pretty big scissors. They work pretty good. Outside accessible, which is kind of nice. Look at that thing, freaking huge. Uh, my latest one that I got. Actually, let's let's keep going with Leatherman. On the Leathermans, one of my favorites is the Leatherman Squirt uh, PS4. I have used this thing. You can see the gunk and grind, grime. I, I love this knife. It's just, it's little, it's cute. I love that it has the pliers. Uh, the previous model, before they came out with this, had scissors. And it's like, what do you want multi-tools with scissors for? Not me. Only thing I did do is I reprofiled the blade on this one. It was like a, uh, I don't know what kind of cut it is. This was just flat and it only had a bevel on one side. I put a bevel on both sides. It's much easier to sharpen. There's that one. Next is the Leatherman Style CS. I don't even like this thing, stupid. What the heck do I need a pair of scissors for? I mean, Instead of put scissors in it, but don't make scissors the main feature. That that's my opinion. Kind of stupid. I mean, it's got the stereotypical tweezers. I mean, who uses tweezers? Dig it out with a knife. Um, carabiner on there. Not a big fan of that, but it is a Leatherman, so I'm gonna keep it. All right. Now that we're out of the Leathermans. Just so you know, this isn't all of mine. This is just, I'm not going to show duplicates. I have multiple of a lot of things. Two of these. I had three of these. Uh, two of those. I need to get a second one of these. This one's good. This is one that comes highly recommended. Next, one of our local outdoor stores was closing down. And I always wanted one of these. I just didn't want to pay the price. Um, the freaking Swiss tool. The Victorinox Swiss Tool. That is just a beautiful, oh my God, just, just opening. You can just feel the smoothness in this thing. This, this is just a highly thought out, functional multi-tool. And I think it looks pretty. Um, almost polished, great multi-tool. I like the head on there. No replaceable cutters. Um, outside accessible tools. Um, another thing with the the Swiss some of these some of these Swiss tools is I'm not a big fan of the serrated you know blade. I'm not cutting steak, and you know they say oh like for seat belts or something like that. Well, if you keep your freaking knife sharp, it it's gonna cut better than serrated in my opinion. All the tools are lockable. Um, I ended up picking this up brand new in like their clearance sale for like, I don't know, like 25 bucks brand new in the box. I stole this thing, uh, but I kind of like it so much. I don't even want to use it. Next up, another one I have multiples of this guy, the Gerber dime. Um, this is my non-used version. The other one is, I don't know, somewhere in my porch or something like that. <laughs> I think my old lady stole it to uh, use the bottle opener. But, uh, you know, I'm not a Gerber fan, but this is one Gerber I would gladly use. I have, you know, no other Gerber multi-tools. I'm not a big fan of their, their line of multi-tools. But this one, this one's definitely worth it. They're cheap, um, functional. <laughs> More tweezers. Um, 
the plier heads on them. I actually really like the plier heads on them. They are, in my opinion, better than the Leatherman. Um, I don't know. Almost more refined. But I still use this one more. But yeah, the Gerber Dime. Good mold light tool. Uh, for the price. And last is something funky that my boss got me. He knows I love knives. I've always been into knives. So he tries to be nice and buy me stuff. And if you're a knife person and people know you're a knife person, they will go out and buy you a knife and you have to grin and smile, say thank you, pretend like you love it. In reality, you're like, oh my God, what the heck did I just get? <laughs> this thing, the CRKT Guppy. What the heck? What the heck is this? This is the most uh, stupid thing I've ever seen. I, I mean, really? I don't, I don't even know. I, words, words can't describe it. I kept it. I love my boss. But really, who who designed this? And, and it, who didn't kick him in the nuts afterwards? This is just the stupidest thing I've ever seen. I think it has a flashlight. Has a flashlight. Is this removable? Oh, it's removable. How cool is that? Magnetic. I don't know. Carabiner. Who would use this? I don't know. But it stays in my collection because it was a gift from my boss. Well, that's it. Also, too, I both my uh, my Leatherman Super Tool. I used to have original Leatherman Super Tool, and I even end up giving it to somebody, a potato. If they're watching my uh, video, they will understand when I say potato because you know you're a freaking potato. But I didn't give them the leather sheath. Um, I don't like the one that came with the Victorinox. I ended up giving that to a friend at work that had one and his was worn out. But uh, So I keep it in the original Leatherman Super Tool sheath and it fits perfect. It sits in the safe and yeah. So that's my uh, current, as of December 2022, uh, multi-tool collection.